All right, it's official. I am declaring Fruits Basket the best anime ever. Now, sure, this is a subjective statement at all, but I'm going to make a case here for why I believe it to be true. For those unfamiliar, Fruits Basket is about this teenager named Toru who recently lost her mom in a car accident. Toru is living on her own, trying to do the best she can, even if that means she has to live in a tent on the Soma estate. While there, she ends up meeting several members of the Soma clan who take her in. She discovers that they have a secret, that some of them turn into animals of the Zodiac when they are hugged by the opposite sex. And the story is about Toru growing closer to the Somas, learning more about them, and the interwoven lives of all the characters. Genre-wise, this is a drama, though with some touches of romance, comedy, slice of life, and supernatural thrown in, because Fruits Basket is not an easy show to pin down. The foundation of what makes it so great is the characters. I love the entire cast of Fruits Basket. The show does a great job of making me want to root for the characters, make me want to see them succeed. And characters are the window into any story, so it doesn't matter how good the story is if I don't care about the characters I'm experiencing the story through. And with Fruits Basket, the fact that I love the characters just means I love everything else, really. The Fruits Basket cast is quite large, so it's difficult to make the viewer care about them all. But the way the anime does it is by making Toru such a likable character. She starts off very determined, very caring, and just oh so precious. So I want to see her succeed, and I love seeing how she interacts with the other characters and just shows kindness to everyone. By seeing the other characters through her eyes, I'm drawn to them as well. There are some characters I admittedly didn't like as much at first, like Kagura, Ayumi, Rin, and so on. But the thing about these characters, and really the whole cast, is that there's so much more to them. Every character in the show has their own backstory that really shapes them as a person. And I like the way the anime presents it, in that Toru doesn't know everything about them at first, and so we don't, at least for a while. Even the main characters have things they keep hidden from themselves too, until the very end. And because the show does such a great job of getting us invested early, it really makes the development and the payoff so much stronger because, well, we do care about them, and the chance to learn more is really exciting. And the thing about the character growth is... In all the characters grow throughout the series, some more than others, obviously, but you can definitely see how they are all different people than they were at the start of the show. But what makes it so great is how it's not instant. It's like very slow, drawn out, over multiple episodes, season, arcs, etc. And there's also instances where the characters take some steps back along the way, which, well, this makes sense. That's how people are. The characters also feel like they could be main characters in their own stories. They're not just people who meet Toru, but they have their own history and future. And while Toru may be a part of their lives, they're defined by so much more than that. Their personalities really make sense too and fit with the backstories. And when you understand the character backstories, you understand why they are the way that they are and why they might not be willing to open up to just everyone they meet. And I also just like seeing the different relationships between the support characters in ways that aren't obvious at first, but like really fit and make the story richer. For example, you have the relationship and dynamic between Green and Hero. Neither of them are major characters, and their stories wouldn't need to intersect, but because they're both Zodiac members, they know each other, so it makes sense that they would have some sort of dynamic, even if that is never the focus of the show. And I also enjoy all the different parallels between the characters, too, which adds a lot to the stories. We see this between Yuki and Kyo so much, and then Toru and Kyo, and even Toru and Akito, which is really weird, but very fascinating. Plus, you have the whole parallel between Kisa and Akito, though that one I might be stretching a bit there. But it just adds so much to it, and because of how rich all the characters are, you can find these similarities between them that aren't always obvious or even crucial to the plot, but they are there, and it's again, ties everything together. And I also love the small touches with the characters too, like how Kyo being the cat doesn't like rain or the ocean. These quirks never dominate the story, but they also add just a bit more to it. Plus, they add to the comedy, which I always enjoy, and yeah, the comedy is hilarious whenever it's there. And I like that the, while the 
And I like how some characters are oftentimes used for comic relief. They're never just that. And we sometimes peel back the veil of the comedy to see the seriousness behind it. Which, again, I like the twist there. How they take something funny and then we laugh at it. And then they show us, yeah, this is the truth. And then it becomes scary and frightening and sometimes disturbing. The story itself is also interesting, though sort of not there a lot of times. The main story of Fruits Basket is the unraveling of the mystery of the Soma clan, but the bulk of the show is not spent on that, but instead of the individual stories of the characters. But I do like how the mystery is handled, with it slowly gaining the full picture over time, and how fulfilling the big climax was. But while the main story is there, the show really focuses on the individual stories most of the time, which I think works really well. One of the great things about the individual character stories is how intertwined that they are. So while their story might not be the main story, it's still a very important and foundational part. And with having like 15 different stories all coming together, well, that just makes a much better storytelling experience as opposed to like one direct story. A lot of times when I watch the anime, it'll go around the different characters and push forward one character story at a time, which that works most of the time. But Fruit Spassky takes it a step further and oftentimes has scenes where multiple characters are getting the focus and through their interactions they are both being pushed forward. For example, you have Yuki and Motoko back at the start of season 2. You have Kyo and Toru with that most recent thing. You have pretty much any scene for that matter, which, yeah, very interesting. And I'm trying to avoid spoilers, so yeah, just... You will know what I'm talking about, though, once you've seen it. And this just adds so much. I also like how the supernatural elements are handled. Because while they are there, that's not what the story is about. And I like how it was never a supernatural plot device that ended up being the answer. Because Bruce Basket is about the humanity of the characters much more than the Zodiac and the Curse and all that. So it would not make sense if they had a supernatural solution in the end and that made all their problems go away. Now, it's much more human than that. And just as a whole, I love the way Fruits Basket defies expectations. At first glance, this might appear to be a romantic harem or a... <laughs> okay, I wrote this wrong. I wrote, at first glance, this may appear to be a romantic harem or a reverse comedy. <laughs> that is not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, it's... Well, tech... Is it? What's a reverse comedy, anyway? Well... Actually, I might be right, <laughs> because a reverse com like you have a comedy and like you have all the funny things, but a reverse comedy is you don't have comedy. Like you think it's gonna be lighthearted and fun, but it is the reverse of that. And a romantic harem. Okay, can't come up with a good way to twist that. Though, I think there are definitely some harems in there if you like look at things the right way. So yeah, that is right. But it definitely goes against expectations, so that is for sure. Because, yes, there is romance and there is comedy. And, yeah, hilarious comedy at that, which, yeah, I don't have a good place to put that in the video. So I'll just say it here. When it wants to be the comedy, it is one of the funniest anime ever. Like, I love the play at the school festival or when Haru showed up and ordered pizza. <laughs> just everything with that scene was amazing. And it really works well because the comedy lets us let our guard down. So it can punch us in the heart with the emotional uppercut of pain. Yes, that is the term I'm going to go with. And the show also twists the romance too. While there are some great relationships formed, it also showcases how love can be twisted into something terrible. Which, I, I like all the aspects of seeing love here, and that's really great. And I also have to give credit to how well presented the show is. Fruits Basket is not an action show with fleshy battles, so it's easy to not pay attention to the actual animation. But it is one crafter with so much care to gently add to everything that is going on. The way the characters are presented, or the lighting, or the color, or the look in the characters' eyes just adds so much. You should be seeing that in the pictures I am putting on screen, in how much they tell the story, and how they enhance the story. You know, that's the reason I love anime so much is because they can present the story in a way that you just can't get it just like by purely reading. And yeah, manga does this to a degree, but I feel anime can do more. One example of this is Toru wearing twin tails and how there's so much meaning here. 
but you probably think I'm crazy if I get into that too much, so I'll save that for another time. Still, the visuals are amazing, and the music too. Oh, it just knows how to hit it so good. But while everything I've said so far is true, it's not what makes Fruits Basket so memorable or powerful. Yes, the characters are well written, the story is well presented, but that's not what makes it good. That would make me just sit back and nod at the good storytelling, which is all well and good. But that's not why I watch anime. I want something that speaks to more than just the mind. I want a show that speaks to the heart. And this is where Fruits Basket truly excels. The emotional impact of Fruits Basket is like none I've ever seen. The foundation of the characters, the way I bond with each of them, lets me lose myself in their stories. And because of that, I can truly feel what they're feeling. Every triumph, every tragedy, how they're overwhelmed and broken, but keep fighting. I want to see them fight and overcome like they were a good friend of mine. The frustrations when they fall are just, when life gets too hard, are so palpable as well. There is one scene in particular that sticks out. Okay, there are hundreds of scenes that stick out. But one in particular I want to talk about here because it's recent and in my mind. There was a character monologuing and she kept coming back to the line, Please cry with me. And through that, in everything she was saying, I could feel her sadness. But more than that, I could feel her fear, her regret, her doubts. But also her courage and hope for the future. Not to mention all the other characters and their emotions of shock and fear, but also, again, hope. It's a far richer emotional experience than just feeling sad that a sad thing happened. And that's why I love it so much. And, and I keep going back to the characters because that's what matters so much here. A big part of the connection is how relatable the characters are. We all have our own trauma, our own issues that we struggle with. And the cast of Fruit Basket are some messed up individuals. I think everyone will have at least one character you can really relate to. A good story will make you feel like you're part of the story. But a great story will make it feel like it is telling your story. I can see my own strengths and weaknesses in these characters in some ways that I wish I hadn't. That is what makes the show so powerful. It's not one I just watch and feel and then move on from. But it's one that sticks with me. I want to be more like Toru, Mamiji, Yuki, so many of these other characters. And the message of the show is so great because it's not just a simple message, but one that's shown with a lot of nuance through all these characters' lives. But to go into all the details would require its own video, which I've already made. Two videos on that. I'm doing a third one, so go check those out if you're interested. But in conclusion, this is why I love Fruits Basket so much. It starts with a foundation of likable and flawed characters, and then tells the story of their lives, sprinkled with comedy, romance, mystery, supernatural, and a ton of trauma. And through this, I was taken on an emotional journey that inspired me to be a better person. And I don't think I could ask for anything more in any type of storytelling. So comment down below, let me know what you thought of Fruits Basket. I'm curious, or what aspects about it do you think I missed that you think also make it wonderful? This video is going to be pretty long, so I'm, but I'm sure I still miss things. So yes, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.